ones on the far right are phosphorescent, so if you move the, the light away from it, uh, they'll glow in the dark for a few seconds. Oh, wow, oh, wow. that's trippy. <laughs> uh, so we'll see pretty much what you see here is what would be seen up at the quarry, so pretty much I don't think anyone's ever been disappointed before. Uh, there's a lot of material to choose from, and I think Pete brought a couple of rocks so we can examine one? his. That's calcite. The oh, orange is the calcite. Yeah, the yellow is the wallastonite. Um, this is a, a, an aragonite coating on the rock. It's not on this side, but if we turn the light off, you won't be able to see the coating. You wouldn't be able to tell which side was fluoresced from the other side. So a lot of these are solid a stain or, or surface coating. So like on this one, if you cut it, it would go all the way through. Uh, same, the one same like with the granite and this, these go all the way through. But these are thin little uh, dikelets. Any <laughs> rate, <laughs> or veins. <laughs> um, I kind of like this stuff myself. A lot of people like the velastinite and calcite. Uh, at any rate, this is kind of an idea of what, what you'll get exposed to up there. Conveyor belt. It does. It takes the rock and where it's ground up into the fine powder. Most of the plant is very automated and they have robots to do everything. What's the water, the, the rain, you know, when you have that big rain like you had, does it only affect the pile Not usually if it gets really wet, they have what they call a dryer, which is like a, looks like a drum with a heater, you know, a gas fired heater, and the rock goes in and just rotates. Well, the piles, the material that's going into the plant is coming from the bottom of the pile. So the top and outside may be wet, but the inside is not. At any rate, basically, I think what we'll do is 